Many people are still uncertain whether Maxwell Chikumbuzo's microsonic energy device is real or just a scam. I'll leave that up to you to decide, but his story has an interesting twist. Since he was unable to obtain a patent for his invention, he had to find another way to protect his intellectual property. Maxwell says that he designed his microsonic device with a built-in self-destruction mechanism to prevent tampering or attempts to reverse engineer it. Toward the end of this video, I'll play a clip of Maxwell explaining this technology himself, but first, let me summarize it for you. According to him, the device includes a small detonator that will trigger an explosion if someone tries to open it or interfere with its internal parts. He insists that the explosion is small and not dangerous to people, but it will completely destroy the device. Additionally, he states that software safeguards have been included. If anyone attempts to alter the wiring or manipulate the system, the software will activate the self-destruction mechanism. This raises an important concern. While this feature may prevent his invention from being copied, what happens if the device requires maintenance? Imagine taking your car for a routine checkup and unknowingly setting off the self-destruct feature. It's a risky trade-off. But Maxwell argues that this was the only way to protect his technology after his patent application was denied. Now, I'm going to play a clip where Maxwell himself explains this self-destructive mechanism. Listen closely and share your thoughts in the comments. Maxwell explains that they have embedded the technology within the vehicle, and there are about 150 wires involved. If someone attempts to tamper with five of these wires, it will cause the device to be destroyed, both in terms of its software and hardware. He says this was their method of safeguarding the technology because they couldn't secure patents to protect it. If they establish a power station in another country and there is an attempt to take over, this security measure ensures their invention remains protected. Maxwell claims that the technical blueprint, design, and core aspects of the invention are stored in three different countries, with the individuals in charge of this information being unaware of each other's identities. To further protect the hardware, he states that engineers would not be able to identify or extract essential components from the device. A small detonator is included, which is not harmful to people but will destroy the device if tampering is detected. In addition to the hardware security, he explains that the software is also protected. If anyone gains access to the source code and attempts to reverse engineer it, the system will trigger the self-destruction process. This ensures that no one can replicate the microsonic energy device. Maxwell states that if someone tampers with the system, they risk losing their investment. When asked about the market price of the device, he explains that they are still finalizing the cost. However, he mentions that several products, including batteries, machines, televisions, bikes, and cars, are already available for purchase. When questioned about where these products can be bought, he notes that in Zimbabwe, there is already a company handling distribution. They are adopting a direct-to-consumer sales model similar to Tesla's approach, avoiding middlemen to keep prices lower for end users. He mentions that they are setting up operations in Switzerland to cover Europe and parts of other regions, as well as other locations across Africa. Regarding the performance of their vehicles, he explains that their design is unique. Unlike traditional cars, their system has no mechanical moving parts except for the reduction gearbox. The generator itself does not require maintenance or servicing since it operates without mechanical motion. He describes it as a form of zero-energy technology. Maxwell elaborates that their battery system allows simultaneous power use and recharging, which is not common in existing battery technology. He compares this to how typical car batteries and alternators work, explaining that in traditional vehicles, when a battery is in use, the alternator remains inactive. However, their system allows power to be drawn while recharging at the same time, making it highly efficient. He further demonstrates that their vehicle can be used as an energy source. For example, one can plug in a refrigerator and power it directly from the car, eliminating the need for a separate generator at home. This technology, he claims, is revolutionary and is designed with multiple layers of protection. Maxwell repeats that their microsonic energy device is embedded within the vehicle and includes self-destructive features on 150 wires. If any five of those wires are tampered with, the system will trigger a complete destruction of both the software and hardware, preventing unauthorized access or replication. This, he explains, was their only option since they were unable to secure a patent. He reiterates that their vehicle is unlike conventional ones, as it lacks moving parts except for the reduction gearbox. 
Since the generator operates without motion, it does not require any maintenance, making it a highly efficient system. Overall, the discussion highlights the links to which Maxwell and his team have gone to protect their technology while emphasizing its innovative features. Whether or not this microsonic energy device is legitimate remains up for debate, but the security measures and claims surrounding it certainly make for an intriguing topic.